So I changed it up a little bit. Instead of hinging in the middle, because that wouldn't let me do the extension unless I did it in two pieces. And that might work um, if I planned on putting stuff underneath other than the spare tire. Uh, and I wanted to get to maybe half or have half a bed, like a really small bed. And then, you know, be able to have storage and make it for two. It was just too much of a hassle. So anyways, um, I put a hinge in the back. I got to put a couple more in the middle. Um, that bar across isn't really enough to stiffen that middle joint. Um... And then this piece, I'm going to put a little handle or something to make it easier to grab. But if I need to, it's hard with the tailgate right there. Put out the handle. But... Wait one second, let me get my hand under there. All right, so I <laughs> got my little leverage stick. So I didn't have the hinges in the back yet, but this is going to be hinged too. So in the event I do need to get under here, you know, if no one's on there, I could just you know, lift it up like this and get under there. I've got these little uh, two by fours under there. Let's see if I can stick the light on the lights. Come on. Lights tied up. Oh wait, your drill light. So, two by fours. They're going diagonal to form a triangle in the middle. And they rest on top of the tire right now. Um, so it fits good. I have the ends of it fit right up against this. And the other ends fit up against the two by six on the other end. So it doesn't go far enough forward that it can fall off here. And it doesn't come far enough back that it falls off that side. So, let's go look on the other side. So here's the other side. They've got one hinge here, one on the other end. Um, this bar is the dual purpose that stiffens this folding piece. And it also keeps gear when I have it folded up or in. Gear keeps gear from hitting as well as these blocks that the hinges are bolted to. Keeps gear from sliding off this. Um, and then it's got all these little perforations. So it gives me points I can bolt things through, put little hooks through, cargo net, etc. And then, when you're ready, <laughs> it's so flush now. It's like, get your finger under it. And then it clears the top. So it's good now. Um, when it was a little higher up, it didn't clear. So you got enough space between this cross, little cross beam here. 
and on the subwoofer, which is a pretty strong, durable poly case. Um, you can see it there. On the subwoofer, I've got two, uh, they're like one by sixes, I think. Um, so those let it rest level. I mean, it's a little bit higher, but yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I have yet to lacquer this, but I lacquered this piece and it looks really good. So yeah, that's my little cargo slash camping bed setup. And then the seats, you can see there's no problem with them here. And then when we're folded up or in, one of these our little support beams. No problem. So if you do have four people for some reason, <laughs> you won't be sleeping four in there. You'll be real tight. Uh, they might not be able to put the seat back. Let's see. Yeah, the seat doesn't really go back uh, with this, but it goes up. So it can be another thing to help this stop sliding. Um, you can always screw it in if you really wanted to. But for now, uh, it's gonna serve its purpose just fine. And really uh, expand the usability here of this truck into a little overland camper. All right guys, thanks for checking out my build. Let me know if you have any questions.